everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. This is part 11. My god, part 11. This time, we are going to go across that bridge in Huntsman's Copes. <laughs> because it totally slipped my mind once again when I went in there, got distracted by jumping on that little pillar to get that item and ended up going on my own adventure. Uh, but that's going to be one of the first things we do. Uh, we're also starting off in, uh, we're also starting off around here in the, in this area. We're also starting off in this area, um, because apparently, apparently there is a hidden wall around here somewhere near Strade's cell that people say, hey, go here, check it out. Not gonna tell you exactly where it is, but we're gonna make you run around and look for it, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm just gonna mash the A button on some walls. Um, I should probably look for somewhere where it would be logical for there to be like a wall that would, you know, extend. Because I thought there would be one around here further. Oh. Well. Yep, mash day on the wall and then I found it. Okay, never mind. Um This might just um, this might just be the wall. Oh, and there's a and it's okay. And it's a pursuer. Alright, hello everyone. Today we are going to be fighting the pursuer once again. <laughs> because he will not rest until we are defeated. As per pursuer's boss soul description. Jesus, buddy. Alright, first fight of the of the episode, and my warm-up is the a fucking pursuer, because of course it is. Because of course it is. Because why wouldn't it be? Why would it be anyone else? You know? I wanna see how good darkness is, I'm not sure. No, I missed that without getting here. You ruined my life, pursuer. It was gonna be fun. Oh, hang on. Curse. Curse orbs. Get behind the guy. Thank you. Alright, we have defeated a Pursuer. He's given me some Twinkling Titanite. I've also got a jump that I can do. Oh my god, why? Why did I run and jump like that? <laughs> okay, we're good. Almost just rolled right off. And that's where this guy's standing. And I just realized I just... That was a bit of an overkill. Bracing knuckle ring. And we've also got a room. That I can drop into. Oh, that's this area. Oh, and I've just been completely destroyed. That was a powerful explosion. Alright, we defeated the pursuer. Again. And I got a ring. So let's have a look at this ring. And then I'll go get my souls back. Uh, bracing knuckle ring. Slows equipment degradation. That's nice. Knuckle ring worn by Roy the Explorer. Slows equipment degradation. Nice. Well, uh, my weapon uh, durability has actually been pretty good so far. Weapon durability has uh, not been not been awful because I am no longer rocking a a weapon that has twin like what 20 40 durability that just like <laughs> explodes instantly and is broken. So we're okay now. Yeah, stick you out with something a little more a little more respectful. All right, now let's have a look. At what I'm getting myself into. Let's do a bit of that. Uh, hit a wall, really. And he's now blown up. That's good. And your turn. Okay. Let's be smarter about that. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume that that was the wall. So we found it. Well done, me. Thank you for the tip to find that wall once again. The illusory walls will never end. They are forever. Uh, but for now, 
we're going to do Huntsman's Copes. And I'm going to figure out how to get on this uh, on this bridge, right? Going to finally figure out how to get on this bridge. And then we've got more of shaded ruins or like the shaded woods to, to explore, which I'm very excited about. Um, I'll take a brief... Um, while we're while we're here, and while I remember, I'll take a brief moment to just um, mention that um, hopefully the audio is all good. I've had to retweak a lot of different settings. I've actually just upgraded my whole PC finally, so recording should be smoother, and my editing and rendering should be faster, and everything should be nice. Um, so this is like one of the first videos that I'm actually doing on the new setup. I pretty much started everything from scratch. I've migrated some settings over, um, but finally got the, the hard work out of the way of resetting everything up again. So I've been readjusting audio, um, making sure all the settings work again. So bear with me if there's if there's anything um, that stands out or something that's that's different um, I will be monitoring it and making sure that we're all good that's all I really have to say about that one I was just like, oh yeah remember that I've actually upgraded my setup now bridge bridge room now we can get up there and then there's a dude who's up there We're going to search for this bridge, and we're going to get there. Oh, that mace backstab is incredible. Just clobber them on the head. I love that. This is still nothing. I'm assuming that's Visions of Merchant is like a Dark Souls 1 reference. To the merchant behind the cage. Behind the bars, I should say. I'm not sure if we can get up higher than this at this point um, that will actually get us anywhere but yeah, let me make sure that I don't drop into that pit because so, we can get up here and we can have a chat to these fellas and by chat I mean shove my mace in their face Um, here, like, but like, you can't get up there, but there's a dude that's waiting for us. So we're almost at the same level of the, almost at the same level of the bridge now. Look at this dude. Alright, now he's actually coming for me because I didn't knock him off like last time I got here. Oh, I've got the binoculars on. I'm like, why the fuck am I zooming in? <laughs> I always forget that. Like... Binoculars! Now. Dude, it's no longer here. Alright, so I don't think it's here. There's a room there, though. some enemy pop in that's no problem he survived yeah because now we're in now we're here this is going back it's not where I want to be either I guess we've got to go around the long way to get to this bridge why do I drink from a flask only to rest at a bonfire you tell me So I'm thinking maybe that there's like a long way around that we can go somewhere that I miss. <laughs> Chill out everybody. I just have to deal with all of these guys again. Oh. 
bicycle boys. Now. Yeah. Oh, I actually think it's this bridge. Okay. Ah, oh, that makes sense. We totally skipped over all of this. Oh wow, there's even a dude in here. I missed this entire thing. Because I went up around here, that makes sense. Meant to do that. Just thought it would be fun. He jumps up, I jump down. Come on guys, I'm not having you get in this room with me in this night. Where me and this dude are gonna have a fucking... ...cage match. Alright sir, you ready? Monastery charm. Poison monster green blossom. Soul spear. Ooh, soul spear. And there's our way out. Sublime bone dust. Nice. Powered up our flask once again. Okay. Soul spear. We need 40. Intelligence to use this one. Fires soul shaped into a spear. Pierces enemies, causing heavy damage. This spell was said to have been devised by a master sorcerer, but his name is long forgotten. Awesome. And you also need to use soul shower now that I've got it and I can actually have enough intelligence to use it. Um. Oh, no. I suggest... This place again. Cool. A nice little way out. And then we can go across this bridge. I completely missed this tiny one because I was... I went over that one because I went up there. Oh shit. It's, it's just like interesting sometimes because you can walk through a, an entire area. Walk through an entire area and then just miss like a glaringly obvious pathway. <laughs> and uh, you know. Almost never end up seeing it. Unless, uh... Unless I have your lovely and friendly assistance to remind me of pathways that I forget to take. Oh my god. At least he gets staggered. Look at that. Notched whip. Skeleton! Right, before we go on the bridge, there was a thing up here. So many branching pathways all of the time. These guys are cool. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, they're not so cool. They're not cool anymore. I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. They're not cool anymore. Holy shit. I was thought I was blocking. Okay, hold on. I'm fucked at this point. Hold on. Come on, guys. Give me a, give me a second here. Okay. Uh! So when they all attack me together, that's kind of when I am get fucked up. Whoa! Holy shit. I'm looking backwards and I'm going to fall down! I knew I was going to fall down. I was like, I'm walking backwards. I'm fucked. Okay, so there is an ambush. Like, aha, you wanted to face us one at a time? Too late, bitch. You're going to take all of us at once. We know where to go now. I think I just skipped him. Oh, he didn't run towards me. It's good. 
Damn, man. Bonk. Get bonked on. I'm gonna get my souls back from this fella. And there's the skeleton. Alright, sweet skeleton. Oh my god, I hate attacks like that. That's something that's always kind of bugged me. I think something about Dark Souls in general. Oh, this was a dead end anyway. Is, um, the whole... They pick a direction, but they will follow you. Like, they, um, they'll just... Yeah. Look at them. Hello. Alright, let's do this properly. Let's do this without getting overwhelmed. Look at them all perched up there. Now that we've gone back to the bonfire, I have to remember that there's the dude with the whip who's going to drop down and get us as well. Come on, buddy. Getting hit by the whip is interesting. Getting hit by the whip's very interesting because you don't really react to it that much. So it allows me to kind of um, see you. So it allows me to still get an attack through. Dark whips, dude. There's the other one. I remember that you're up there, sir. Come on, let's go. Okay. We're here. I'm at the bridge. I guess this is where you could drop down and get that get that item if you were, you know. Not crazy like me. Can I get you down? Oh, that's fine. Are you gonna stand up? No, you're just gonna hang there. Undead purgatory. Whoa. There's just an invader who's just here? Ah, uh -huh. thought so. Thought you'd come for me. There's just a there's just an invader that's already spawned without us being notified. Is that right? That's interesting. You suss my arena out. Okay. Ow. Okay. Aha! Oh, get crushed. That's a big shield you have there, sir. Wow. Okay, Guts. Jesus. Guts with a shield? Check that. Fucking... It's too big to be called a sword! It's a slab. Holy shit. Come on, you're just one hit away, man. Thank you. Whoa. Any souls for that one? Interesting. That was weird. Fire seed. Oh, nice. So we can upgrade our pyromancy a second time. We haven't even upgraded it once yet because we haven't really gotten into pyromancy much. Just focusing more on sorcery and hexes. Okay. This was being protected. Let's have a look, shall we? Bait to black. My favorite. Is this going to be like the Lost Sinner, where it's like a... Oh. <laughs> oh, 
goodbye skeleton. Oh my god! Is this gonna be like the Lost Sinner where it's a primal bonfire? What the fuck? <gasps> oh! What the fuck? Executioner's chariot. Oh my god. Hang on. Where is it? Oh, there it is! <laughs> Oh no, they're gonna come back to life! Oh shit. I need... I don't know if divine weapons exist. Okay, how does... What do we... What do we do? <laughs> Fading soul. Oh, guys. Oh, this is fucking fantastic! This is so cool! What a great idea! What a great idea! What do I do, though? Ah! Is there one of these gates that's going to be open? Hang on, there's a path there. Oh shit. Hold on. Oh fuck. No, I'm in here too. This is my house. Oh, this. Just like what the skeleton pulled, right? Yeah! Ooh. Now what? Oh, nice! Oh, this is... F that's fucked! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Where's the... Where's the other dude at? Where's the skeleton that was riding it? Ooh. Hold on a minute, horsey. Hold on, I've got a drink. I'm thirsty. Oh no! Oh, the back step. Do we have to fight the skeleton or are we just fighting the chariot, the, the horse? Holy shit! <laughs> oh, don't eat me. Holy crap. Oh, the back kick. Oh, the... Hold on a minute, horse. Oh, fuck my life, dude. Okay. Oh. My god, what is it doing? Stop. Oh. Come on, we can get this. We can get this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Nice. Holy shit, man. What a cool fight! Oh, yeah. Okay. It didn't look like... Hang on, is it a... It's not a big soul, is it? No, it's not. Okay. I thought because it was like... It did like a fade to black, and it had like that effect thing on the screen, uh, which it looks like... Um, where it looks like um, the same thing with the Lost Sinner. Okay, Executioner's, Executioner's Chariot Soul. That holds control over the undead purgatory. The chariot was created only to torment undead, and it took the form of a horrendous mad steed, a window into the soul of its master. Holy shit. Yeah, I was wondering if we would just like... I was like, okay, I guess the, the skeleton riding it just disappeared. I was wondering if... um. That would have been like a fight against both the horse and... The skeleton. I just pressed the wrong button there. Okay, so there's actually a gap, so you can only go for a certain length anyway. Then there's a way out. Island.
Bonfire. Ooh, and a person. Ooh, a tiny person. All right, bonfire lit. Um, my dog's going crazy outside. Give me, give me a second. All right, dogs that go crazy over next door neighbors' lawnmowers. It's a, it's a great fun time. Dude, look, a fellow, a fellow spellcaster and a mace wielder. Wonderful. Okay, we got a new friend. Can't see their face. Oh, welcome, welcome. Do you have a lust for blood? Mm. Lesson learned from Dark Souls 1 is almost always 99% of the time answer with yes, unless it's a trick question. Yes, of course. Why else would you be here? Do you give yourself the Nur armor? Sure. Then you will need blood. Undead blood, like your own. But it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> what would he say? Join the Brotherhood of Blood. I recognize this guy's voice. He reminds me of um. He reminds me of one of the one of the dudes from Chernobyl. Uh, the HBO show that's like responsible, one of the dudes that's like responsible for it all going to shit. He has a similar voice. Hmm. That can hardly be the whole story. I want to hear what you really think. You want more than just a little blood. You want to be drenched in blood, mired in its foul stench, am I right? Am I? Oh, just say that I'm right. Huh? <laughs> this man's got a fucking blood kink, that's for sure. He's like, you, you want to be drenched in blood? Please say that I'm right. Entered Covenant. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Fantastic. You're the best. Now you are a servant of Na Alma. This crest of blood is yours. Crest of blood. Another servant of blood is born. You will serve well, I just know you will. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at the ring. Um, it's covenant related, so there it is. The ring is nothing special. Perhaps in the end, an oath is but a window into the ambitions of the oath taker. If you've taken this oath, then you know what you want to be soaked in the blood of your kind. I'm assuming it's a PvP... Um, PvP related. Um, so maybe like murder people. Murder other people. Oh, shit. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. It makes sense. There we go. Join Jewel. Yeah, it's a, it's a PvP. Uh, it's a it's a PvP place, uh, so it's it's like the um, in the DLC for Dark Souls One when we entered like that room and all the fire, all the bonfires were blue, and you could like actually like search for stuff and do PvP. Cool. I believe that that is now Huntsman's Copes. Uh, mostly completed. There's pr there's still probably a pathway or two. That hasn't been checked out, um, but we will um, level up now. Um, start putting some points back into intelligence once again. Um, I'm gonna get my faith up to 20 as well, eventually. 
without ignoring everything else. <laughs> um, my magic mace scales with intelligence pretty well as well, which is good. So I'm happy about that. Let me just do... Let me just do that. Faith 20. So pretty comfortably sit there now. Um, and we'll burn some more sublime bone dust. And now that I have done that and gotten 20 faith, uh, let's check out this dude. And I'm going to forget where he was again, because I always do this. Um, what was the bonfire that was closest to him? It may have been, I think it was the Undead Refuge. I believe it was the Undead Refuge. Yeah, and he's here. Okay, let's have let's have a chat. The dark watches over you. These are for you. Sunset staff and hex's clothes. Nice. Into the dark. Cool. I'll take it, buddy. I went, to, I went to a great school in... I, 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 do, so I remember he said that last time. Alright, let's have a look at this equipment. Um, sunset Staff. A staff said to have been forged in Aldia, a catalyst for sorceries and hexes, particularly powerful for casting hexes. The mysterious Lord Aldia secluded himself inside a manor to conduct various experiments. Those invited to the manor disappeared, replaced over time with malformed beasts that roamed its holes. Nice. Um, and then if I want to compare that to what I've currently got. Uh, oh, it's got an A... It's got an A for intelligence scaling and an S for, um, what's the, what's that status for? What's the eyeball again? I'm pretty sure the eyeball is, oh, the eyeball is dark. Okay. Dark attack bonus, so it's better for casting hexes. Um... I'm going to keep using the Archdrake star for now because of how much I've put into it and it is better. But this is this would be interesting to explore. And in terms of Archdrake stuff, uh, we've got, I mean, sorry, Hex's stuff. We've got, looks like that's what that guy's wearing. Hood worn by a Hexer grants slight increase to spell uses belonging to Felcon, the outcast. Hexing appears to be an offshoot of sorcery, but its specific origins are unknown. Increases number of casts for each spell. Nice. And we've got the robes. Got the gloves. So just that mask looks to be what gives us, yeah. So it's just the helmet that gives us um, a bonus to castings. But I lose, <laughs> I lose out on a lot of. Um, a lot of my stats. That's cool though. We'll definitely keep those for future reference. Wonderful. Um, I wonder if now that I've hit 20 faith, I could also talk to that dude who was in the wheelchair, uh, who was in the shaded ruins, if he's still sat there by the altar. Um, was he? Shaded ruins. Let's see if I can. Um, See if I can run over to this guy and check him out. We still need to. We still need to um, explore those other two 
rooms in shaded woods anyway. Okay. I don't like this. Hang on. I died. Uh, I took so much more damage then. I think these dudes do better against the fire longsword. Trying to get use out of the mace as well, but goddamn. Just take a quick little sprint down, drop into a hole to meet this fella. Ah, oh, he's gone. Wait, that's right leg, left leg. Okay, he's gone, so... We gotta find him in another location. I still need to bring all of my I still need to bring branches of yore here when I find them. So we have none right now. Oh I just did like a fucking front flip. Jesus. Uh let's travel to Oh man, the gut is gonna be fun. I'm gonna need to always have a torch at all times. I'm pretty sure I've got like the cast light that I could use as well. That would help. Alright, back to the Ruined Fork Road, right? <sighs> back to Ruined Fork Road. So, we went this way. We can go straight ahead, we can go left. So let's go left. Okay, we got these dudes, um, and they are at that Bright Cove place that we discovered last time as well. They look like, um, they look like Riders of Rohan. The Rohirrim! Praise the sun. Really? Oh no! Look at- I don't like how they move. <laughs> I don't like it. It's, it's disturbing. It's disturbing. Ooh! Oh, that's how a parry works. Okay. That's how a parry works. Oh. I, I have to get you back now. Damn it, dude. Hang on, I have to get you back. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so cool. So they get taken onto the ground, then you do an animation instead of it being like Dark Souls 1 where it's more instant. So thank you for those of you who pointed out that I have to wait for that animation to actually finish. Makes sense. Is this just a dead end? You an enemy or what? Oh, you are an enemy. Oh my god, like, <laughs> you're like, are you just a- oh! Holy shit! I hate that I can't lock on to you! Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe and a Golden Falcon Shield. The beloved Black Axe of the gallant Shieldless Lo Lothian, formerly of Ferosa. No warrior matched the ferocity of unbeatable Lothian. Lothian? Lothian? I don't know. Lothian. <laughs> Lothian. Lothian, but he abruptly retired from the battlefield and was never heard from again. Some say that he grew tired of the frailty of human foes and set off to slay the legendary dragon. What well, says Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe? Shieldless Lothian 
but then we got a shield with it. <laughs> shield, small shield used by the Volgan Falconers. Appears like a glistening gold falcon from afar. Domestic Volgan soldiers are infamously timid, so it is no wonder that this fierce band of mercenary falconers was hired to compensate. The falconers are rumored to be untrusting of others, but demanding of prompt full payment. But no wonder they deliver much more than they are paid and are well aware of it. That's cool. I wish this was instead of a falcon, it was a hawk. And it was like a Band of the Hawk reference. Band of the Hawk. Okay, not necessarily a dead end. There's still... The Shrine of Winter. The Shrine of Winter. Seek mightier souls. Seek mightier souls. So this is like another door that's given us a message like that. There was another one that was guarded by a dude and we needed something in relation to like uh, the king, something in relation to like the king something. Okay, we have to commit this pathway to memory. The Shrine of Water at some point. I need more, need more souls. I'm not good enough at this point. It said access denied. In that case, we will now take the third path. I will go this way. Oh, it's these things from the, um, from the beginning area of the game. Except they are all smoky. Hello, old friend. Oh, how could I let that happen? Should know better than this. By this point! <laughs> it's like, I really should know better. I've dealt with enough of these guys to know how they work. Rookie. Rookie mistake. Try that one again, shall we? So I love that these guys run away, only to lead me to the giant. I'll deal with you now. Let's go, buddy. Why did I do that again? Like, for a second time. I forget how- I forget the casting time sometimes, because I haven't been casting spells that often recently. So I almost forget that it takes a little while to recover from the spell cast. Ooh! That move? Clever. A mace would have been better for that. Red tear stone ring. Which is boost attack when HP is low, so that's the same one from Dark Souls 1 that you get in Valley of the Drakes. Kaitha, goddess of tears, mourns the undeserving dead, shedding tears as red as blood. It is said that the stone set in this ring is one such tear. wonder if it's uh, used as much as it... Oh, and there's another one. I wonder if it's used as much in this game. For strats, as people do in Dark Souls 1. Produce the symbol of the king. There you go, that's what I was talking about. The symbol of the king. So this is the second... This is the second door to ask for the symbol of the king. So there's one in Forest of the Giants when you go down a ladder and you go through a door 
out into this area. I need a ring. S symbol of the king. Alright then. Another location that I have to commit to memory. So we've got the Shrine of Water. Um, Shrine of Water. To the one path. And then another symbol of the king door that needs to be presented in order to proceed. So nothing I can do about this area for now. So in that case, what we still have to explore is Brightstone Cove and the gutter. Uh, there's also the boss in Earthen Peak and at this point I'm probably thinking we should go and deal with her. We should go and deal with her. I think I've put it off for long enough. Now how to actually deal with her is a whole other story in itself. Um, not sure how exactly to deal with her. Oh god. Right in the head. Not entirely sure how to deal with her. But I think it has been mentioned uh, in comments since because that's what people do. Yes, there's apparently like other boss fights that we've been in uh, there are ways that you can interact with the ways that you can interact with the bosses. There are ways that you can interact with the bosses um, to get rid of those handicaps. Like the Dragon Rider, we make the make the room bigger. And with the Lost Sinner, we can light up the room. So apparently, in this area, there's also something, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure on what that may be. Why is she ignoring me? That was weird. I need is around here. I'm gonna have to do some I have to do some searching to figure this one out. Oh shit. Forgot about that guy. Yes, we never did this, did we? You're really gonna make me lock onto those guys before that guy? Hello sir. How dare you block? Can I go for your legs? No. <laughs> okay. uh, now, the jump I want to do is try and get onto... Okay, yes, we can make it. Radiant Life Gem. Good. Alright, for a chest. Crimson Water. Any other reason to be here? Oh god, what was that? Boop! <laughs> Press the jump button. Uh, just a little bit too late. Now I have to go back there and get my souls. And then we'll figure out how to find this... Find something that can help us with, against the, the boss fight. I'm looking at this thing, and I checked this just then, and it says try torch, uh, and this one says try fire. 
I've been running around trying to look for something, uh, getting killed <laughs> by the fucking by getting killed by these dudes when I walked out aggressively. It took me by surprise. Um, let me try a torch. So I've been walking around for ages. I can't goddamn find anything. Oh yeah. God damn it. Rest of the bonfire. You're not forget about these dudes. My life, please, sir. Okay, now you try a torch here, apparently. Set light. What are we setting a light to? Oh, really? Is it flammable? Yes, it is. that do? Oh, for God's sake, I have It was a misinput! It was a misinput! Jesus Christ. Oh, now it's stopped moving. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> he wasn't supposed to start attacking me, like... He always waits! He always waits, because he's polite! Holy sh... <laughs> Please! Give me a break. Okay, the mill... has now stopped moving. Have the gears stopped moving inside? Oh! Everything has stopped moving. There you go. In that case, maybe this is the thing that I needed. Because I've been running around for ages, I was like, oh, this is the only thing that I'm... that I'm coming across that I can see that requires me to do something. So maybe... Um... Let's do this, let's do this fight then, and see if this was what we needed. I'm gonna take on this poison snake queen. Hopefully, this was what we needed to do. Damn! Almost died. You annoy me, lady. <gasps> yes! Okay, this is empty. I think we got I think we got it then. We've drained the pool. Awesome. So you just have to stop the mill, which I guess has all the makes all the poison flow. Ah! We have our answer. I can take on this queen now, and then I never want to look at Earthen Peak uh, ever again. All right, I'm ready for this fight. <laughs> I'm as ready as I'll ever be uh, for this fight. So we've removed uh, the poison. I had to restore my humanity because I'm just losing too much health. Um, We'll do the fire longsword. 
magic it up a little bit, and now I'm ready. I'm taking. I was. I wouldn't. I would say that I'm going to take her head. Oh my god. Which is true. I just don't have to remove it from her forcefully. I can just grab it out of her hand. Oh, there's still poison. Okay. There is still poison. Holy shit, lady. See, the poison is only just one thing about this fight. Like, she's, she's quite fucked up. But you're also weak. Oh, her health comes back in the... Her health comes back. Of course it does. Just attack her from a long range when she's in the poison water. Sorry, I do you do enough damage there. Oh do enough damage in between. Oh no, grab move! Oh fuck, this was what killed me last time. <gasps> I lived, bitch. It's alright, you you heal yourself, I'll heal myself. It's it's an even playing field. Mytha the baneful queen. Jesus. And gotcha. Could not imagine doing that with a poison pool still. To those of you who managed to kill her in the poison pool because you didn't <laughs> drain the pool, well done. Because that is no easy feat, in short, lesser foe. Yeah, as soon as you drain the poison pool, she is very manageable. Um, I'm glad that I ran around and wasted my entire, entire afternoon scrounging Earth and Peak. To stop the mill. Um, good stuff. And we can now actually proceed further now. I'm glad that people made like allusions to that you can drain the pool and that you can stop the mill. Uh, I didn't think that they were connected and I'm also glad that I wasn't told how to do it. Um, but I got hints so it was like I was able to look for stuff. So I, pr I appreciate that in a sense that um, it gives me a push in the right direction and allows me to actually like look for things um, and then figure it out eventually whereas you know I probably wouldn't have figured it out at all um, if I didn't receive any mention of it. Now there's a I'm assuming, I'm assuming that switch on the wall summons the lift down. Where does this go? To the top of Earthen Peak, I guess. And keep. Wait a minute, this is just fucking. What? How does this make sense, logically? Lava? I wish I could get. I wish I could have a map of Dark Souls. <laughs> Dude, I'm not ready! I was talking. Holy shit, man. I'm completely taken off guard here. Give me a second. How dare you. Disrupt my train of thought. Okay. Um, I wish I had a map of Dark Souls 2. Because these areas make no sense. We're in Earthen Peak, like a Poison Valley type deal where there's like, you know, the windmill and all of that kind of stuff. And we take 
an elevator in Earth in Earth and Peak up. And now we're here. Uh, the sky looks like this, where it's like literal like hellish invasion. Giant castle and iron keep. This is on top of Earth and Peak. There's been a couple of areas that haven't made sense location-wise already, but this one is kind of like the biggest, like, wait a minute, how is this where we are? There's a bonfire, I'm not missing it. I'm just looking at my surroundings. I didn't miss the bonfire. God damn it. <laughs> Good stuff. So let's let's review, right? Let, let me let's take let's take a look at this at this area. So we're at Threshold Bridge. So we're gonna travel, right? We're gonna travel to Harvest Valley. Um, or maybe hold on. I need to, I need to be outside so we can take a look at this. Let's travel to the mines, right? Let's look at let's look at this place. So we'll go here. Like this is Earthen Peak. I still haven't actually checked out this area yet. Oh my god. I still haven't checked out this area with all the items on the ground, so maybe I should... I'll do that while I'm here. Um... So this is Earthen Peak. Well, Harvest Valley still, but in there... ...is Earthen Peak. And in here... ...we take an elevator. Is the elevator like a portal to another dimension? Because we take a we take a lift. We get we go up there, we take a lift, and then we're in the iron keep. Are they trying to tell us that it's on the other side is it on the other side, maybe? But even then, like Lava. Right next to a poison valley. It seems so bizarre to me. I'll check out this area, otherwise I'm going to forget. I'll just deal with getting poisoned at this point. And just heal our way through it. Heal our way through it. Chameleon. Washing ball. Dragon charm. Spice. God, I can't fucking. Thank you for the messages. Fading spot. All of that for a fading soul, huh? Really? Okay. Um. So we just got. We just get a washing palm. Uh, we got a spell as well. Amelia, nice. Sorcery allows you to blend into your surroundings. 
Good stuff. And we don't have the cast light ability. That was a lie that I told myself, because I thought I did, but we don't. So, yeah, Earthen Peak leading into the Iron Keep makes not much sense to me, but I guess I will accept that. Wild. Absolutely wild. Well, this just opened up a new area for us to, to check out and explore. Um, that is going to almost kill us in one hit. Do we have do we have anything that's like fire resistance? Covenant rings don't really do that. Sitting on so many of these that I haven't even used yet. I don't know if we've got anything that's going to allow us to walk on that yet. Because uh, in Dark Souls 1, there was a ring that we could get. In Dark Souls 1, we could get a ring. So I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to we'll level up. Might need to pay a visit to the other blacksmith, um, our lovely friend um, in Lost Bastille, and look into maybe using like these stones or something like that. Because we've got a few of them. Um, I'm going to, with this, we can level up twice. I'm at this point where I'm not sure what to what to go with, how to continue. My weapon scaling with intelligence is like the only thing keeping me leveling it over everything else. Might just keep doing that. Okay. Lovely. Run around for a bit figure out what our next move is going to be. I've been talking to people around uh, Majula, seeing if um, the armor has anything to say, anything like that, and wanted to speak to our lovely cat friend again. She has a ring of whispers. We can hear the voices of foes, useful for locating hidden enemies and perhaps a few other things as well. I think I could use this ring to talk to uh, that scorpion dude in the shaded ruins. So I'm going to save up. Actually, I might need. I might be able to cash in. Yes, cool. I'll be able to cash in some souls. Let's buy this ring. Let's buy the ring of whispers. Satisfied. I'll be. I might also, while I'm here, buy this Alva set from this fellow as well. So let's cash in all of these. Get some of that sweet, sweet souls back. Because I don't desperately need to level up any stats right now. I mean, leveling up stats is always and forever going to be a good thing. But I'm not crazy desperate. So let's spend some stuff. Now, we've got the Alva set, so... I 
think that'll be nice. Let's buy chest piece. Let's buy the helmet. Um, I can buy... Oh, I'm just shy of being able to buy both. Um, but I might buy the legs too. I'm, I, oh, thanks for the purchase. Do come. He's so he's so confident now because he's like, look at all this money. Okay, so Alva leggings does give me some poison resistance. It's a bit of a drop on like everything. It's even heavier than everything. So I might keep the skirt on for now. Maybe I should have got the gauntlets instead. Um, this is lighter. It'd probably look cooler with the leggings, wouldn't it? <laughs> and this is quite weak, but it's also light as well. It's a pretty looking... It's pretty. I just know that a lot of people... A lot of people keep trying to force me into uh, being fashion souls when I when this is a role-playing game. Um, when it's a role-playing game. And I like to actually have good stats. This is a beautiful looking set. The gauntlets are not fully part of it, but they blend in quite well. But gorgeous looking equipment. I really do like having Vengar's helm though. Look at that. Maybe a mixture. Because I just look at this and you just go, why would you ever say no to wearing the Archdrake robes? You know what I mean? We have reinforced it twice, which does help. But at the same time, even the penal skirt, just a lot better. But let's let's roll let's roll with this for now. So I'm no longer no longer in my Gandalf appearance, which makes me makes me sad. We've re we've removed we've removed the robes, but I've still got 5k souls left over. So we might pay a visit to our lovely friend in the Lost Bastille, Mr. McDuff, so I can get him to get him to maybe change my gear a bit because we have we've got a lot like we've got petrified dragon bone we've got stones so we can imbue a weapon with magic lightning fire dark poison lacerating raw mundane removes additional powers and strengthening pyromancy flame <sighs> It'd be cool if you could like have more than one, but I feel like if I it would just you could only have one. I don't really need to imbue a weapon with lightning when I've got the the heed knight sword, which I can actually use probably better now because my faith is better. So therefore my it does more lightning damage, apparently according to what you guys have told me. Um Fire Longsword I'm still kinda happy using. Magic Mace scales with my intelligence. Might just chuck some things that I'm not going to be using in the item box, however. I'm not sure if I'll use the Poison Broadsword. That's kind of just why I'm keeping it in here. I like it. And same with, like, the Enchanted Weapon. Not sure if I'll use it yet, so uncertain. Just trying to not clutter my inventory too much. Hey, buddy. To fetch a new Been a while. Flame, dear flame. Can we even find a new ember? They're so rare. Now, we could take a normal longsword that we have and make it into something else, like a We've already got a poison broadsword, so we've already got an enchanted falcon. Do something like the bleed stone. A dark sword. We can even do it. This is interesting. Ah, we can increase the dark damage on. So we can make this even stronger too. 
Interesting. This is good. Good poison resistance. Bleeding. It's hard to it's hard to commit. Might reinforce this while we're here. Maybe I'll do this instead. Reinforce my new fancy gear. Reinforce my helmet a bit too. Because why not? Those gauntlets are probably going to get replaced at some point, so I won't do that. Shall we go? Shall we go back on the path? Commit to the Iron Keep. I'm pretty sure, like, there's stuff that can give us like fire damage, but something uh, fire damage resistance. But I'm pretty sure in Dark Souls One, um, there was there was fire defense, but that didn't work because there's also like like lava or heat or something like that. So I don't know if it's different in this game, but we've got fire defense as an item. I'm sure we could also wear gear that would be fire resistant. But I'm wondering, oh shit, I'm wondering if there would be an actual ring that would help us walk on this pathway because there's multiple items to get. I have to wait and see. Okay, so this is where this guy comes from. He runs from all the way over here. It's very weak to very weak to magic, but it took like half of his health in one hit. Maybe I should chuck the maybe the fire longsword is probably not gonna be what we want to even use here, considering the location. Try the magic mace instead. I'm pretty comfortable and happy with like the build that I've got going on at the moment. Like oh, you're gonna interrupt my you're gonna interrupt my Speech, lady. Fencer Sharon. God damn. She's pretty tough. Jesus. Ah, dodge the dodge the backstab, or should I say, back smash? Oh. Whoa. I want to use the... I want to be able to dual wield, but I need to check out my gear to give it a look and see if I'm able to. See if I can put some daggers together or something. Holy shit, man. You okay? So damage resistant. That was going to take me off a fucking cliff. It's a shut gate. Anyway. Whoa! What is? Whoa! Oh, okay. I see now. I see. That's fancy. What kind of a fucking weapon is that? It's like a sword that turns into a whip. Excuse me. When you hit them in the middle of their dodge, but they don't lose health. Chill out. There we go. Jesus. No joke. Um. Yeah, I don't think we've got. I'm not sure if you can dual wield with like swords. I think I would need like daggers or something, but apparently if you have two weapons, oh hang on, I need to put it in the other hand. No, 
no. These are not compatible. You should be able to like steel wield both, but it like changes your stance apparently. Um, when I when I next try a item box, when I next get to a bonfire, I'll pull out some other weapons and we can see if we can play around with that. Because that's something I wanted to do towards the end of uh, Dark Souls 1 where I got the tracers for the first time. The gold tracer and the um, dark tracer. Brief period. Ah! Oh my. What? Yeah, there's a brief period where the fire stops. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to. Oh, there you are. I couldn't even see you. Jesus. Settle down, everybody. How close do you reckon I can get? Oh! <laughs> no! I got I got it though. We got an iron key. I love a uh, iron key where we don't even know what that is going to actually relate to. Let's check the description. Iron key. Opens the iron door of the iron keep. Okay, nice. The old iron king's castle sunk into a lake of fire, weighed down by the castle's iron and the burden of the king's conceit. Over the ages, the iron was stripped from the castle by opportunistic passers-by. The iron door, too, must be somewhere far away. The iron door of the iron keep. Now, let me have a look in the item box for some weapons. Now... that back. Um, let's try these three items. Right. Put on like Shadow Dagger. Oh, I can't even wield it. I can wield the Feast Dagger and I can wield the Bandit's Knife. Now... Still doesn't work. Um, I'm not sure if I have the ability to do the dual wielding at this stage. There's probably something that I have that would help, but it's not sort of the most important thing for me right now. It's just something that could be interesting to check out. night. Helm worn by the Alon Knights, the bonds of the Alon Knights who served the old Iron King were mightier than the land's iron, but in the end the knights were subsumed by the flames that brought the castle down. How much are these? Oh, these are actually not bad, but they're a bit heavier. Not bad. Not gonna get invaded by that person again, am I? <laughs> oh, that's where you are. You are up there. Armor and Dennis, what the fuck? Oh no, not an invader at the same time as me taking out these dudes. Hold on a minute. Fucking armor, Dennis. Oh my god, chill out, everybody. Oh, oh my dude. The rematch with armor, Dennis. 
I'm gonna lose to Armor of Dennis in a minute. Jesus, give me a chance. Stupid spellcaster. Fight me with swords, bitch. Oh my god. Soul spear? Oh! Soul blade? This is. Fucking hell, dude. Two invasions in a row. Is he casting his, um, he's casting his spells with a sword and a shield? Like, how's he casting his magic? How does he cast his magic, huh? Yes! Sponk! Get bonked on, buddy. And your fate is sealed. Armor of Dennis. Clear bluestone ring plus two. Oh wow, we're really just nailing it. Shorten spell casting time. I think at this point in time, a plus two, I should really, really use that. This is just where. I've really gotten used to wearing the soldier's ring to increase my maximum load, though. Um. Anything lighter that I can wear that's not, like, terrible. Everything is kind of terrible. The Grave Warden's stuff isn't actually too bad, but then it's just like, I just bought this, and then it's like, this is lighter. <laughs> but then I just look silly. It all looks bad. It's all terrible. May as well just wear the hexes stuff. Helmet's too good, don't make me give it up. Oh, I just wanna stay but I just wanna stay under 70%. That is a sacrifice that I need to make at the moment. I should I should put some more points in my um endurance so my um equip load can be increased by a little bit at least, so then I can justify not having the soldiers ring on anymore. Because I've had it on for so long. Let's take a look at this reduced casting time. Yeah, that's pretty it's pretty nice actually. Especially with how I've been getting caught up in my casting time recently. And getting caught. enemies. It allows me to cast and kind of get ahead of, um, allows me to cast and get ahead of long range bow and arrow in my face. There's gonna be so many of these dudes. I'm not, I'm not here for it. Invisible wall. Message. God damn it. I had, ah! <laughs> I hate this game. Okay. Run into wall to check. It's wrecked. Oh my god. Sir, it's a good thing I have binoculars. Dude, those arrows that he's shooting me at. How's he not dead? Sir, how did how did you 
Oh my god. Am I going to enjoy the iron keep? I'm going to take a bet and say no. Especially when it's filled with these guys. Oh my god, people are shooting at me from far away as well. It's classic. That's a classic Dark Souls 2 thing. Yes, get smashed on. Nice. I kind of hate how the, the sound glitches when you do that back, back smash. It's very unfortunate. Oh my god. How is this not a backstab? Oh, he's up there. Let me pull this thing. I don't even know what it does, but let's go for it. What does it do? Oh, I think it's that bridge. Let's open this door. What does it do? Oh! Ah! Okay. Oh, we're not going in there. deal with this guy. Get out of here. Yeah, they had great bows going on. You impress no one, sir. Okay, so I can't... Wish I could kind of grab onto the ladder. <laughs> feel more clueless than ever in this area, especially when it's just like so unexpected to end up in a place like this. Destructive great arrow. Nice. Life ring plus one. Raise my maximum HP even more. <clears throat> oh, hello. You, sir. I'm gonna deal with you now. So, how the hell are we supposed to get in there? Okay, it looks like it's on a timer. Maybe we can avoid it. Maybe we just have to be quick. Regardless, I'm going to spend these souls before I go and do something like that. Oh, that, was, that guy was ready for me. Oh, there's also another door there. Oh, maybe we can just like... I see you. This is what I have to say about it. Oh! Holy shit. Where? Oh my god. Oh, it's a fog wall too. Um... Oh, that, that jump. What do you reckon? not worth it. Alright, can I open this? Oh! My god! Team, leave me alone. What did that do? Oh, it did turn it off. Nice. Alright. We shut off the fire. watch where I jump. There's another door there. Pathway. Ah. Oh. Well, fuck. Ah. Oh. Well, that's not happening. 
not for a while yet. I can jump back on there, or we can commit to this direction. I can no longer make it to there. I don't think I could make this jump. Let's try this. Secret wall. Open up another door. Damn. Okay, we opened up a door on the other side. That's good. And another one of these. Now, what does this do? Oh. It just brings it down to the... again. Okay. I see. And this was just, yeah, the other side of that door. Then that's the ladder. And there's an item here with that dude that we defeated. Cool. And another ladder. Which way do I... Which way do I go? This ladder way or the fog wall that that archer was in front of? Oh my god. Oh, it's another one of those big dudes. It's not open from this side. Get me, sir. Oh, does every <laughs> every second hit have to miss? Why are you already attacking? Wait. Who? <gasps> Wait. Wait. What is that guy doing? Oh, I see what he did. He... I was like, what the f I thought he was just going to bring down this whole thing into the lava. But he just knocked it and ran. Well, I mean, sir, we can just jump over that. I'm not sure what you were trying to achieve. I'm not sure what you were trying to achieve there, sir. Just jump over. Where are you, though? You're hiding around the corner! I knew you would be. I knew you would be. Holy shit. Ah. Ha <laughs> ha. Your own attack will be your downfall. Okay, let's try that again. This is another dude here. There's another dude there. What does this do? Let's have a look. Pull the lever! Oh, nice. That's what that does. Good to know. Oh, that was a fucking quick shot. Okay, so can I bring it back up now? Okay, I see. I see. Ooh. It'll be this. This will open up the door. Use a lockstone. Is it this wall? It is. Okay, that does confirm that you can't just hit a wall. Uh, you need to actually use the mechanism to find it. So that was a question I had last time. Nice. Wow, this is going to be exciting, isn't it?
Thunder Quartz Ring, plus one. Increases Lightning Defense. Hey. I'm glad I didn't go back to the other bonfire and I just pushed through. Because that certainly was a, tr a time. Belfry Soul approach. Ah, we went to Belfry Luna last time. This is Belfry Soul. The moon and the sun. I get it. Interesting stuff, huh? And we have to go up this ladder. Does this ladder take us? To a fog wall. Oh, and it's another dude, similar to um, Belfry Luna. You want to guard the bell, do you? Another a bell. Princess, a forever, for true. I don't want to say no to him, so again, I'll just jump into another covenant, the same one that we're in before. <laughs> we'll just join it again. I don't know, because they're all just PvP related, you know? Most of them, it seems. Dialogue as the other dude. Is this gonna be another fucking boss fight with a bunch of gargoyles just like Belfry Luna as well? Oh no. Okay. Belfry Soul. At least it looks consistent with the area of the Iron Keep, considering we're right above it. Oh, no. Look at that giant fucking Minotaur. Imagine if that wasn't a statue. That was actually a boss. Hey! 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 It's a nice staff you got there. Oh! What are you doing? I'm not over there. Oh, God! I've been back... Almost backstabbed. Oh! Gentlemen, please, I was taking out the bigger, bigger threat. And yes, that was a pun. Oh my god, of course you would block that with your minuscule amount of health left. So this is just the bell keepers again but in a different area and that's another one of these dudes yep let you go big boy holy shit i want to i want to get that sword shit so cool what even is what was that movement Sir, play by the rules of physics at least. Or get smashed upon! What does it do? What does it do? Does it ring the bell? It does ring the bell. Bell has been rung, boys. Ooh, I'm hearing like a gate or something. Was it this? It is... yes? No? Maybe? I don't know. You! Dual wielding fucking multiple cross crossbows. What the... That's quite a weapon there, sir. And it will be used against me no longer. 
Yeah, like, look at this. <laughs> look at this landscape. We're supposed to be nearby Earthen Peak, right? So we're all the way up here. Oh, there's more of them. Like, look at, look at where we are. We're next to a fucking volcano, for God's sake. And all of this, as far as the eye can see... Where is... Oh! Where did you even come from? What the fuck? Sir, I'm trying to admire the uh, inconsistent view. Makes no sense. Holy shit, man. Can you... Thank God. You get it. You're strong. Oh, there's multiple bells. A whole bunch of bells, actually. Dude's a no joke. We get it, you guys are strong. Okay. Oh my god. And I'm trapped here, hold on. the Simpleton Spice. That's how we get back. That ladder there. Immolation. Dark Souls 2 is so funny. You go, cool, we're going to check out this area this time. And I've said this before, but it's just like... Dark Souls just opens up a whole bunch of areas constantly. It's just like endless new areas everywhere. You're just like, oh... I just found this brand new place and I guess we're sticking to it because I don't want to enter an area and then go, oh, nah. Sometimes I do, depending on what happens, but like most of the time I'm like, oh, cool, new area, we'll explore it a bit. Immolation, a pyromancy that creates a coating of flame, allowing the caster to incinerate nearby foes. Needless to say, this is a perilous spell that burns the caster while active. Ah, uh, that sucks. I was kind of hoping that it would be like a fire defense, like a fire shield. We could actually like go on the lava with it and turn ourselves into the man on fire, you know? It's pointless. I was like, maybe it's a wall? Oh, okay, we're back in the back in the iron keep. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Interesting. We just did a whole loop de loop. Okay. Belfry Soul, there you go. Um It is. Okay. Uh, let's head back to Majula because I'm going to level up. Um, and then we're going to go to the shaded uh, ruins and speak to Scorpion Man. Less. Speak to the Scorpion Man. Put the ring on. Now, I want. Uh, sorry, not endurance, vitality for equip load. I need it. I need it! that reason. Okay. Um, now, yeah, before I forget, first thing will be first is we go to Shaded Woods, um, and then... Yes, the ruins, and we'll chuck the... we'll chuck the ring on. 
have a chat to him. Ring of Whispers. Okay. Now let's see if this is true. Just realized that I need to do it from down here. You know, always double check which window it is. Oh no, wait, hang on, it's not this way, because this way's blocked. Damn it. It ain't this way. So it's interesting, sometimes you don't roll if you like collide with a window or something. A window, a wall. To the window. To the wall. I'm going to eliminate all these ghosts with my mace. Good night. Got more important things to attend to. I wonder where that dude in the wheelchair went. Because, like, how did he get anywhere? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it was down here, wasn't it? I actually have forgotten how to get to this dude. Yeah, it was through... Yeah, it was here. Yes, there you are. Alright. Cool. You've defeated my better half. Yes! This is my thanks. Take it. Oh, we got one fragrant branch of your. Wow. Just one, not four? To cover the costs of how many are in this area? I have no gods to pray to. But still, I pray that your journey will be safe. Nice. Warm up gesture. I have no god, but. St okay, uh, I guess that is the purpose of that ring. Yeah, obviously, we'll probably have other purposes. God, the fucking curse thing. Yeah, I'll probably have other purposes, but now I have to choose which one do I want to use it on because there's there's one here. Uh, there's one like over here somewhere. There's one just standing up against a wall. There's like some that are blocking an area. And I only have one. I have to do some... Uh... Oh, I forgot about you. I was not quick enough to change to my staff, and as soon as I was about to, I was like, nah, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Another time, because I'm sure I'll have to come back there anyway with a fragrant branch. Yeah, I can't decide. I'm gonna hold on to that branch for now. I'm glad that ring worked though. Back to the back to the iron keep. The matter at hand. Yeah, I'll travel there. It's probably faster than starting it all from the beginning again. I just have to go through Belfry Soul to get back. So we've got two fog walls now. Can I jump up here? No! Okay. Those big dudes aren't here anymore, it's just the small ones. Yeah, big boys are gone. God, they're accurate, aren't they? Ridiculously accurate. Yeah. Okay. 
back to this. So there's a pathway to get to Fog Wall, right? And then also a switch that I can activate. of water. Okay, so we can either put doesn't seem to make a necessarily much of a difference depending on which one of these I put up and down. That just puts one in the lava and then that dude comes down. Oh, actually no, hang on, that's a bigger surface area, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Let's take a look. It's bigger, this platform. Oh, and puts that one down. There we go. Rude. <gasps> no. Oh, I just activated a trap. And the twinkling titanite dude got away because I had to kill this dude. Oh shit. Can we deactivate the trap? Ah, and then another one of these to a chest. God damn it. avoided. No! If you guys can shoot... Ugh, something that I really don't like that I have noticed that I wasn't thinking of in that moment is when you cast a spell, it does nudge you forward. And I hate that it does that. Because then that happens. Oh man. I would much rather ha make this run through Belfry Soul every time. Then have to start back at the beginning so it's not too bad. God, it's so funny seeing them running at me at like 15 frames a second. When they're in the distance, they're like, I'll get you! I just have to make the decision on which fog wall uh, will be a boss. Or which one will be another area? Or will they both be a boss? Who knows? The one in this room, and then there's one in... One the other way. Okay. I'm gonna reopen this door every time. A slow door open animation. Let's put these guys in jail. In lava jail. You're kidding me. And you're kidding me, part two. Alright. Oh, my souls are here. Alright, where's that dude? There we are. Let me get you. From here. Q. 
it. Buy a Drake stone. Alright, start this again. Except don't step forward. <laughs> God, the binocular is such a great, great little trick. Just wanted to get rid of the archer. Of course, you can't get damaged by um, fire, because why would you be? Oh, and how dare I? Get them off poise. Oh, there we go. We got a ladder that goes up here. Let me try the ladder first. And then a ladder that goes up even higher. Who knows, maybe they, both of the fog walls aren't even bosses. Oh, shit. Oh, I was sprinting. I'm out of stamina, sir. I didn't expect you so fast. There's another one. Gentlemen, gentlemen, there is enough of me to go around. You just have to fucking wait. Oh my fucking god, man. I was hoping I would have got knocked off onto the platform, but I'm never that lucky. Let's run through Belfry Soul again. <laughs> it's such an awkwardly placed bonfire. Like, why? 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 It's very silly to make you go through this area. See why they do it. They want to see us suffer. It's just like a constant needing to remember enemy placements every time I go through here, because all of those all of those knights in there are a pain in the ass. Stop! Stop shooting me so quickly. It's not allowed. Rinse and repeat, baby. Clad armor. Yeah, so I think I should be able to. I reckon I'd be able to make this jump, right? No. Oh, there's a thing there. Okay, hold on. There's an actual. Ah, oh, you can get damaged by the fire. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Hang on. Where's that? Where's that then? Okay. I'm gonna take care of you this way. go across that bridge to get there to get to the fog wall. But what if the fog wall is a boss? Oh shit! That was 
incredibly careless of me. Okay. We're gambling on this room. We're gambling on this one first before going upstairs. Okay, it's not a boss. There we go. Not a confirmed, not a boss. Ooh, but we got just moving chain. Oh! Oh! For God's sake! I'm sick of it. How are you so quick? Chill out. Alright, hold on a minute. If that's the case... What the fuck? If that's the case, I'll go back. Oh man, I really could have made it. Oh, I could probably... Oh. It doesn't go out as far as I thought. No! Dumb. Dummy alert. A big dumb alert! How am I even alive? I survived. Just... Oh my god. As if he didn't walk to his death just then. That's... that's stupid. <laughs> I got the big dumb. Come on. I can do this. Alright, now there's two dudes here. Oh, they're both coming. That's how we deal with this situation. If you, if you want to be indecisive about coming to attack me, you're just going to get killed from a distance. Okay, now what's up here? God, some of the item popping is so bad. Okay, not a mimic. We're good. Oh, shit! Oliver the Collector. Dude, no. Be wary of Dark Spirit, of course. Holy shit! What are you wielding? Oliver the Collector? Collect my fucking... Whoa! That's a weapon! seeing what even does stuff against you at this point. He's got magic resistance. Yeah, what did I think was going to happen with that? Dare I expect to interrupt this guy and his attacks? Jesus. go. Heavy fella, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> the final blow. Look at all of his different fucking... his different moves. That final blow disrupted by the wall. Oliver the Collector. God damn it, sir. Be wary of shit. Yeah, everyone was saying, eh? You're about to get attacked. We got another ladder. A bonfire on this side would be great, considering the other one needs a lockstone, so it's kind of like a hidden bonus one. Hmm. Last time. Last time I used a lockstone in a thing that had like a. Uh, indent like this. It turned into a poison. It turned into a poison pool.
Oh shit. Yep. <laughs> Hello everybody. You just okay. This is this is a bit unfair, guys. Come on. Jesus. This is a bit unfair, guys. How what am I supposed to What do you expect me to do here? And you're all shooting at even uneven times. Why won't it let me aim on the dude who's right in the middle? It wants me to aim at this dude instead. Can you let me aim at another dude? Why? Alright. All else fails. Binoculars. Ridiculous, everybody. Okay. Damn. Uh, if I drop down here, there's no coming back. That looks like the room that was above me before. Yeah. Fuck. So I was just built. I was just down there. Black Knight, great axe, nice. So, so what? You expect me to? You expect me to just? Do this, and then do this, and then do this. And then do this. And then I assume there's an item on the thing. Do this. Uh, how do I... <laughs> uh, it's either in the pool. Oh my god! Ooh, a gold serpent ring. Fallen foes more likely to drop items now. Okay, be careful. Oh god. Stress. Was that all that was... Yeah, that's all that area was for, because now I'm back here. Holy shit. That's fucking wild. I'm hearing a mechanism going. Oh my god. Not... Oh. I won't go this far just to be desecrated with a hammer. Good night, sweet prince. Holy shit. This looks different all of a sudden. Ooh. It's got blood on it. It's guillotine. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit! Oh no. Please don't come crashing down on me. Oh, we could like... Oh, it does come down after a period of time. Who would have thunk it? Oh, wasted one. Alright, so it comes down. I'm running out of... <laughs> I'm running out of stuff here. Oh my god. Is there not a bonfire in there? I got 40... I'm going home. I'm going home. Oh, yeah, there's an item. I'm going home. I'm going home. <laughs> take me back to the bonfire. Let me rest. I'll take a quick break, and then we'll try and go at this one again. Alright, time to travel back to Majula. Put some more levels in. It's me dropping my controller. Flawless. Okay. <laughs> um, hello. Stand up, please. I must level up.
more vitality, I think. Stop putting those putting those points to vitality. Um, and then let me let me complete the the Alva set. You need armor. Give me the gauntlets. <laughs> oh. Um, and then still got some souls left. These are lighter, but I lose a lose a whole bunch. Check in with. Um, I want to check in with our pyromancy friend, because maybe she okay. has. She should have flash wet, right? Oh, she's also got flame quartz ring. Increases fire defense. Yeah, flash wet. Okay, let's see, right? I'm gonna need to buy some of those. <laughs> um, Increase fire defense. Okay. And then I can buy two of those. Didn't realize that she was actually selling fire seeds as well to reinforce the pyromancy flame. I'm I'll reinforce here. that once. Okay. And now, to attune my spells, um. Put on flash wet. I want to use one of these. Um, put soul shower on. Soul spear I can't use yet. Homing soul mass maybe. When fired, they home in on their target. Soul shower would probably be a cooler one to use. I'm interested in I'm interested in chameleon because we haven't actually used this before. <laughs> oh my fucking! <laughs> That's what chameleon does. Oh, and as soon as you do an action, you break out of it. Holy shit! Oh my god, that's <laughs> Oh, so if this is if this is like PvP or if you get invaded by another player, it's just like I am but a box on the cliff edge. <laughs> oh oh my god. <laughs> I guess it would I guess it would uh be a series of um items around this area. You could just blend in here. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, Dark Souls, Dark Souls prop hunting. Incredible. Okay. I'm glad I finally used the chameleon ability. I needed a good laugh. I needed that. Okay. Um, let's put on the. Um, Sorry, magic weapon a little bit, yeah. Oh, that's soul shower, okay. Eh, it's got potential against crowds. Against multiple enemies. Not sure if that's going to be my favorite thing in the world, but I will at least commit to it. We'll try it. Um, now what I want to do is, with all of that fire in mind, let's try the Threshold Bridge area. Now. Flame quartering. Um...
pyromancy flame. Flash whip. And then there's also these orange burrs. So let me just chuck that there. Alright, how much resistance am I going to get from this? Only one way to find out. Flash whip. Small orange burr. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, I mean we got the item. Was that worth it? Okay. These are meant to be suicide runs then. <laughs> These must just be suicide runs because holy crap. How are you supposed to do this? without it, and then I just waste a burr each time. Oh, this is like a series of jumps, and then there's also a fire one. Can I make that jump? I've got no souls to lose at this point, so let's have a look. Holy shit, you can. My god. Now I have to do this twice. Okay, flash sweat. Can I even make this, you reckon? God, just holy crap. Amazing. Bonfire aesthetic three. Nice. If I want to make it back. No. Oh. And, yep. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't think I was going to make that back eventually, but I was going to try instead of using a Homeward Bone. You just fall into the lava anyway. And then just get taken back. But I wanted to see if I could make it. Cool. So, depending on that, you could probably also get, like, a Quartz Ring plus one. That would help even more. But that's fun. Um, interesting. Okay. Now, I want to check out, at least while we're here, one more. Actually, it's probably better to just do it from this bonfire, now that we've opened up the area, is there's one more fog wall in this area. This will probably be the last thing that I do in here. Um, give me this guy back. Put on my spell casting ring once more, and then get rid of my pyromancy for now. Try homing soul mass as well. Okay, so we just have them, and then when an enemy pops up, like this dude. Nice, so you can get like... That's kind of cool. You don't get many uses though. Only four. It has potential. I like it. But I'm going to keep on my normal soul arrows for now. I'm going to be OCD like this because they're in a weird order now. Everything's in a strange order. Alright, now I have to start all over again because I screwed it. <laughs> I will chuck the soul shower at the, at the end. Because I just wanted to have the magic and dark swords together so they're closer this time depending on which one that I want to use. Still alive? Of course you're still alive. Because of course you are. What's my current status with my weight? 
I don't think we went down here last time either, so there's, yeah, there's definitely more to check out. I want to make sure that I check out an air. oh, nice, check out an area a little bit better on my first run through for a change. I didn't even need help on that one. I was like, that could be a wall. That could be a wall. It looks like it. Getting a bunch of fire arrows. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's here. My god. That's what I should have loaded the ballista for. But it's fine, because I can do that instead. Okay. Cool. A little bit of a shortcut. And then what's around here? Oh, this is pretty. Oh. <gasps> It's the clothing of, uh, it's the outfit of, um, what's his face? Ai Shawai. The guy from that place, from that land who sold boss armor in Dark Souls 1. It's the same clothes. What? Who are you? Who are you? Who, me? I'm Magarold. Who else? What? Have a look at my wares. What? What? Incense. Okay, I just lost connection to online world, apparently. Lower required attributes for which spell? Oh. So you can, so say if I wanted to get soul spear. Oh, with the spice. With the spice, right, yes. A spell demands devotion from its caster, but using the spice makes a chosen spell attainable. We'll only work with assistance from a certain person. Right, we finally got this. This is why there's so much simpleton spice. Oh, that's great. I'm going to bring it down to 35. Because I reckon I could get myself to 35 pretty easily. So it's, it's 10 levels away. I'll bring it down. Twisted Barricade is a bit different. That's... we'll probably get there naturally. I'm gonna... I gotta use the spices on something. And there we go. Incense. Oh, Jester's clothing. Spiked bandit helm. A boldy coloured Jester's cap. A nice bit of fun to try on. Jester's have more fun than festival fixtures. Some have a second face hidden from public view. Some? Only some? What about the... <laughs> what about the ones that don't? Wow. Reduces falling damage. Number of souls acquired. Nullifies first critical hits and raises item discovery. Incredible. And bandit gear. Curse bite ring. Curse resistance. Still haven't found a poison bite ring, I don't think. Oh, the carvings! Where'd you get these? Wild. Full control. Nice. Dark Storm. An esoteric spell created by Navlan, the infamous exiled sorcerer, creates a local vortex of dark flame. The heretic Navlan was executed along with his entire village, and the mere utterance of his name became a crime. Some say it was because he sought to restore the band art of resurrection. You need a sacred chime on that one, however. So that puts me at a disadvantage in terms of stuff that I'm using. Well, we've got another branch that we can buy, and we're close to being able to buy that. I mean the treasure hunter, you see. Many a merchant on the side. A rumor bang, looking for a find, following me instincts. Looking for a find? I don't care what things worth. It sounds like Nick Frost. Is whether it grabs me. In hot fuzz. Do I enjoy what I do? Oh, that's a good question. 
I suppose I must. I, I've been doing it for ages. There's good iron in these parts. An old king even used it to build a castle. But the thing was too heavy. It slowly sank into the ground. Fire spouted from the earth, and, and the place turned into this. At least, that's what I've been told. A bad story, eh? Not a bad story. What'll it be? Anything for you today? Good customer service, Magarold of Lanafia. Hey, you know that old fella with the Hulk and blue sword? He talks really oily a bit, but I got a feeling it's a fake. Ooh. I didn't want to disappoint him, so I just sort of talked around it. Let me just say, there are lots of legendary swords out there. <laughs> interesting also um apparently someone's mentioned in comments is to progress his story you actually have to summon him apparently so that's probably not happening we'll just watch his uh watch what happens with his storyline later <laughs> for now we'll just keep on letting him chill out have you heard of the shrine on the eastern edge of Drang lake built to honor the dragons they say if only I knew how to get there. I'd, I'd go and I'd come it for goodies. Come it for goodies? I mainly a treasurer. A I, I think there's only one shrine that we've come across, which was the Cheers. water shrine. Cheers! Nice. So you get, like, sort of, uh... Drawn in by the view. And then you found an NPC that I almost missed. Because <laughs> I went... Completely opposite direction. Alright, now from here, that's the fog wall that I'm looking at. That's the one, sir. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they cancelled my attack! I don't know if I'm going to like this very much, this um, soul shower. I was like, oh yeah, cool, it would be great for multiple enemies. And then multiple enemies come. I'm getting my ass kicked because they're so quick. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't really... I'm, not, I'm not good with it, clearly. Oh my god, dude. You've got no nothing left to your name, and you are giving me so much trouble. Holy fuck the fire. Oh my dude. All I needed was that one more dodge, and I would have been able to heal. Where did they all fucking come from last time? Now that I've messed with the area before a bit, everyone's just they're all angry at me and ready to fuck me up. Damn. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, not a, not a huge fan of Soul Shower. I'm not a huge fan of their run, either. Like... Just like... Making their, making their merry old way over to me. I'm like, stop. You're annoying me. Alright, let's fucking go. I'll kill these dudes so I can buy the, um, the item I need from our lovely friend. What? How is he able to get me from there? What a joke. Oh, and you fall down after all of that. Okay, now that we've opened this secret entrance, we should be able to shoot the, um, shoot these guys. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you gonna come in, sir? He's just gonna sit there. He just, he just, he just took it. He just went and stood back down. Oh, 
Oh god, quick. Quick. Load it up. No! <laughs> what is that movement? Enemy movement in Dark Souls 2 is so weird. Okay. Now, everyone's gonna just apparently start running for me. I hate it. Yeah, look at how far away they're coming at me. He's all the way over there. So obnoxious. Or while getting shot at. At this asshole. Oi. I'm over it. Get out of here. You're done. Oh my god. Eat my mace. Oh, there's another one. Ah! Dude, where, where were all of these enemies before on my first time through here? What the fuck? Oh my fucking god, dude. This is just annoying. I'm like, where the fuck were all these dudes before? They're just all sprinting at me from a distance. If this boss fight, if this fuggle isn't a boss fight, I will just be opening a door and they'll all just chase after me instead of me getting to freedom. Like, it. It doesn't help that they just suck as an enemy as well. Like, they're annoying, they're fast, their attack is like this, constantly. They're always... Oh my fucking god! And they survive with the smallest bit of health. I just hate it when enemies are just like, more annoying than not. Like, it's just like, your, their entire existence is just... frustration. As if you're gonna try and still shoot me with a bow from there as well. I have a I have a grudge against this entire this entire monster type. These knights are fucking annoying. And you're gonna survive. The nerve. Get fucked. One on one, they just need three hits, and then they're 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 over. That's it. Let me buy this thing from this guy before I move on through this fog wall. Well. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Love to run around in that jester uniform, to be honest. It seems like a lot of fun. Get out. See, the, the fact that they just attack you so quickly...
Oh, it is a fucking boss. Smelter demon. He's got a butthole for a face. Jesus. I'm gonna hate everything about this, aren't I? What the fuck? Ah, uh, this is why I need... This is what fire resistance would have been good for. Don't you think? Oh my god. Smelter demon. Nice. What does that mean? Am I going to get damaged if I get too close to him then? Yeah, I get on fire. I get on fire. Oh my god. Uh, of course that's going to hurt me. He's resistant to dark, so that's not gonna do it! Oh my god. Oh, he's got a fire sword now, right. Oh, okay, smelter demon. That's good stuff. Smelter demon, woo! As you can see, I'm clearly loving this area. I need to just sprint past everybody and get this fucking guy. Um, it's a good thing we bought this ring. This was this was good time, but then I'm just like, what am I gonna give up here? I need stamina. Uh, fuck, maybe the ring of binding for now. I need the flame quartz ring. Um, I'm gonna chuck pyromancy on and put flash sweat here um, instead of that. Give me flash sweat. I think, I think Ring of Binding might be necessary, really, but, you know. Oh, you know what I can do? I just need to... No, it's fine. I just need to remember to put the serpent ring back on as soon as I kill the boss. That's the plan. New plan. Fucking wrecked. So you only need one hit when you do that. <laughs> it's just not easy to get to it. These dudes are just... The fact that they can run up to you so quickly and do that attack just makes it very difficult to be able to run past them. See, I still take damage when I do that. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Shit! I'm still alive! No! <laughs> no! That's not... That's not... That's kind of not good, because... Oh my god, look how fucking many there are! Come up the stairs, guys. Come up the stairs, quick. Oh my god, they run after you so quickly! Come, come here, guys. Come hang out in the fire. Oh, there's another- Oh, it's just more, <laughs> more on the other side. Now you're in the doorway. Get out of my way. Okay, everyone's running back home. Everyone's running back. This is my opportunity. Oh, no. I didn't even see him. I- Fuck my life. That was just chaos. That was just chaos. It's just stupid- fucking chaos, man. I got granted 
um, a second chance by getting knocked off onto the lower platform. Now I don't have to worry about souls that were in that room. I just need to think of the best time to pop Flash Sweat and that. I, like, killing all of these enemies is just not what I want to do because there's so many of them. There's an obscene amount of them and they just pile up on top of you. And I can skip them, but it comes at the cost of... It comes at the cost of not being able to use flash sweat or fire resistance. Also, the, the fucking pure inconsistency between how long it takes to kill them. Some of them will die in three hits. Others survive. I'm going to be here all, I'm going to be here all day. I was like, yep, yeah, cool. We'll just round this off. I'll do this boss fight because we found a boss with a butthole for a face. And that perfectly sums up the Iron Keep is a fucking fiery butthole. All right, I managed to get flash sweat off <laughs> on my run over here. And that's about it. Oh, okay, so that's what that does. I also want to be able to pop this. But I'll need a minute. Oh my god, how did I not die? No! Ooh. All right, I ate it. We're good, we're good. Now I just need to live. That's kind of like the most important part here. Holy shit, man. This flame resistance doesn't even matter until later. Can I pop this again, please? Just to be, just to be safe. Oh! oh, I lived. I didn't get hit. Oh, wrong one. Alright, it's flame sword time, isn't it? Yep, it's flame sword time. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Even faster than that. Flame resistance, bitch. I got it. Oh, that actually makes a huge difference. Oh shit. Oh, that was... that was dumb. Oh, that, this is so dumb. Oh, from there. I thought I would just be just out of the range. Never mind. What the fuck? Buddy! Stop! I think he's resistant to darkness. Is my flash sweat still on? It is. Oh shit. Whoa, no 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 drink, drink up, drink up, drink up, buddy. Nice! Victory through actually doing multiple, um... Oh, for fuck's sake! Victory through actually doing fire resistance and stuff. Which is great. Light the bonfire. Ooh. Fuck off! You gotta be joking! I'm gonna fucking get killed by this stupid motherfucker. Like, honestly. And only one of them came after me, and I couldn't rest at the bonfire. Cause this stupid dude running after me. You know what? You know what I'm grateful for? Is Dark Souls 2 changed it. You can touch, you can light a bonfire, bonfire, and you manage to. <laughs> and you can still come back. I was really hoping that that was the case. 
Nice. Okay. I'm calling it there. Iron Hearth Hole. We're gonna read this soul that we just we that we just obtained, however. So give me a sec. What was it called? The Smelter Demon Soul. The haunts the castle that sunk into a pool of iron. The old Iron King's life was taken by a mass of iron that had been given a soul. Was this metal Goliath here, there from the beginning, or was it a product of the king's conceit? Smelter Demon. Smelted. I hate this place. <laughs> we will continue through the Iron Keep next time to see what else is going on in here. Uh, and then see what else, see what other adventures awaits us. Because honestly, we could just enter another completely different area and see where we see where we are. So guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dark Souls 2, and I will see you next time.